So welcome everybody to Mindful Weekend Yoga. It's nice to see everyone. And today is a little bit of a special class in that we decided to offer it also as a class through the San Francisco Marin Medical Society to the Women in Medicine group to hopefully have them join us on a more regular basis if people are interested. And knowing that it's uh, these classes are designed to be nourishing, healing classes with a focus on um, healing the healers, although they are always open to anyone who also would like to join us. And I like to think that we are all healers and caregivers in the world in some way. And we also all tend to have many of the same uh, struggles and mindset challenges. So I like to teach for those of you that are new, because I know there are quite a few, I like to teach a more um, nourishing healing yoga, more so around that than around exercise per se, though I think what happens is the exercise happens naturally. And so allowing yourself to enjoy it and do what works for you. And if things hurt or feel uncomfortable, see if you can back off and adjust and listen to yourself. And just a little bit about me, for those of you who don't know, I am a pediatrician and I have worked in physician wellness for a long time. And I'm actually the chair of the SF Marin Medical Society Wellness Committee. I do mindful life and relationship coaching and I teach yoga and mindfulness. I'm part of the Mindful Healthcare Collective. So for any of you who haven't joined us there or know about that. This is how this yoga started. And I do it almost every weekend, at least twice a month and would love to have you join me for right now. It's this link. Um, if you stay on the email list, if the links need to change for some reason or the schedule changes, you get that update as well. And um, I also host a podcast called the Mindful Healers Podcast, which has a lot of um, discussion about self-compassion and taking care of yourself and having a healthy mindset that helps us get through um, much of life in a more easeful, peaceful, connected way. So um, today's class is dedicated to um, healing the healers and specifically those people who have worked really hard to get to a certain place, whatever that might be, whether it's somewhere in medicine or somewhere else, and then aren't really sure um, how to take care of themselves and be well in that place. And um, for those of you who came to my retreat recently, I'd like to pull a, a card and what was really interesting, like a um, intention card, because sometimes you don't want to think of your own intention and it's stressful. And so my card today, interestingly, was perseverance. And my theme around the class is actually almost anti-perseverance in terms of taking care of yourself and relaxing into the process. And so that actually got my mind kind of thinking about how perseverance can be relaxing and slowing down. And so I wanted to offer that as a wish as we um, get started. So find a comfortable spot on your mat. And most of you have your video turned off, which is fine. And I can't see you that well anyway, when I'm actually teaching, but be mindful that you should listen to your body, modify as needed, do what works for you and what is comfortable for you. And this is an opportunity to slow down and listen to your body, something that we often don't do in our day-to-day -day life. And so see what works for you, see what doesn't. If something is particularly challenging, try it. Notice why you wanna leave the pose or don't wanna do it, and then make a decision about what is best for you. So as you settle into your mat, Ground your sit bones into whatever is beneath you. I do recommend block bolsters, blankets, something to lift your hips above your knees. Cross your legs in an easy cross-legged position. Ground the sit bones downward into the earth. Tilt your pelvis slightly forward. Grow your spine long and tall towards the sky. Reach the crown of your head skyward and drop your shoulders. And pause here. Just notice how you feel. 
taking a moment to settle from whatever may be going on in your world or your life, your medical practice, your family, and just allow yourself to pause here and be for this next hour, taking care of you, being curious. Yoga is an opportunity to be curious about who you are. Take in a deep inhale through your nose and an exhale, let it all out. Close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Rest your hands on your thighs. And once again, take another deep inhale in through your nose and an exhale through your mouth and pause. Thinking about all the mountains you have climbed in your life, whether it was a mountain of education, an actual mountain, the challenges that you faced, and how you got to the top. And give yourself a little bit of credit for having gotten to the top. Can you own it and celebrate it? Whatever it was, allow a little bit of pride in for accomplishing all of the things that you have accomplished, knowing that they were all something that you once deeply wanted and were so committed to accomplishing and you made it. We so often just move to the next project. So take a moment to pause and acknowledge yourself for all that you have done, all of the places you have been, all of the amazing things you have created and been a part of in your life. Bring your left hand to your heart. Press your heel of your hand gently into that heart space to release a tiny bit of oxytocin, that feel-good hormone. Let it circulate throughout your body. Take your right hand and place it atop the left. Press in even a little bit more, but gently. Noticing your heartbeat beneath your hand, connecting with yourself for a moment, taking a moment to be, to not do and rush and plan and move ahead, but a moment to just be here right now, listening to your heart. What does it want? What does it need? What if from here you could approach your life from a more heart-centered space? What could happen if you took care of yourself and stopped pushing and instead moved forward from a place of kindness and authenticity? What if you stopped ignoring your subtle messages and inner wisdom and started listening? It's possible that you could climb even more mountains, even higher mountains, with using your perseverance in a more kind way to yourself. Take in another long, deep inhale through your nose and an exhale through your mouth. Another deep inhale through your nose and an exhale. Take another moment to connect through your hands into that heart space. Send kind, compassionate thoughts into that pocket behind your heart that so often is ignored in the busyness of our lives. Fill yourself up with nourishment, care, and kindness. And if there's something there that's unkind, let it go, nudge it out of that space. And as we move through class today, see if you can slow down, slow down to let your soul catch up, slow down to let your needs and your wants catch up, slow down to listen and be curious and see what emerges in that slowness 
and in that space. Bring your hands to heart center, press your palms together, each finger pad touches, thumbs press into your sternum, elbows out wide. Take in another deep inhale and an exhale. Take a moment to think about your intention. What are your thoughts now about what you might like to experience in this next hour? What might be most nourishing for you? Slowly lower your hands to your thighs, open your eyes, let the light in. Soft gaze on the floor in front. Engage your belly, inhale, reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Take your right thumb and middle finger, grab your left wrist, ground your left hip, hip into the earth and tilt gently towards the right. Tug the left wrist towards the right, stretch the whole left side body, breathe into it. And exhale, let it go gently. One more deep inhale on this side, tug that left wrist gently towards the right, fill up the whole left side body with nourishing air. And exhale, let it go, come back to center. Switch the clasp of your hand, left thumb and middle finger, grab the right wrist, tilt gently towards the left, right hip grounds into the earth, right wrist tugged gently towards the left. Inhale deeply and exhale. Another deep inhale, use the breath. And exhale, long, smooth, and even. Come back to center. Allow your arms to open out towards the side and immediately wrap them into a hug. Right arm underneath the left, inch your fingertips towards your scapula, towards the middle of the scapula. See if you can grab it, squeeze tight. Give yourself a huge hug here as you engage your belly and reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Deep inhale. And an exhale, another inhale here. On the exhale, drop your head into the cradle of your arms and allow your back to stretch. Release the head and neck towards the floor. One more deep inhale and exhale. Slowly rise up, right, once again. Untangle your arms, reach them out towards the side. Rewrap them left arm under the right. Inch those fingers towards the scapula, towards the midline. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, reach tall, lengthen your spine, reach the crown of your head skyward. And exhale, squeeze and let everything go. Give yourself a huge hug here. Another deep inhale. And an exhale, drop your head into the cradle of your hands, head and neck release towards the floor, back stretches. Deep inhale and exhale. Slowly raise the crown of your head towards the sky once again. Untangle your arms, stretch them towards the side, lower them towards the floor. Roll your shoulders out three times. Get rid of any kinks. Roll them forward three times. Enjoy all the sensations. If you're sitting on something big like a block or a bolster, feel free to remove it. If you're sitting on a blanket, you can keep it. Take a moment to rock side to side on your sit bones. Move the flesh of your seat out of the way. You can stay in a cross-legged position if that works for your knees or loosen it. We're going to hinge forward at the waist and fold forward into a hip stretch. So pay attention to your knees. Notice how they feel. Take your hands, walk them in front of you, handprint by handprint, inch by inch forward in front of you. And you'll notice a beautiful stretch in the outer hips. You can leave your legs in that easy cross-legged position if that works for you or loosen it. If you need to, you can stretch them long in front. Your hips will not stretch in that position, but your back will. Either way, walk your hands forward and just Notice the release in the outer hips. Breathe into it. If you wish, allow your head and neck to fall towards the floor. Breathe in with intention through your nose. 
into the whole back body, fill it up with nourishing air. And exhale, let it go and walk your fingers another smidge forward. Notice all the things that are stretching and just enjoy it. Another deep inhale and an exhale. Slowly, inch by inch, walk your hands back towards your shins. Notice which way your legs are crossed as you hinge at the waist and reach your spine towards the sky. Recross your legs in the opposite fashion. Move side to side on your sit bones, move the flesh of your seat, hinge at the hip waist and the hips once again, tilt forward, Bind spine is straight, take your hands, place them on the earth, walk them forward, inch by inch by inch, spine is straight to start, notice the release in the opposite hip, whichever one you didn't feel last time. A couple of nourishing breaths here, breathe in deeply, and exhale, let it go. Another breath. If you wish, close your eyes and allow your head and neck to fall towards the floor. You can bend your elbows, forearms can rest on the floor. Just notice all the sensations. If it's too much for your knees, uncross your legs. One more breath here. And slowly walk your hands back up towards your shins. Spine hinges towards the sky. Uncross your legs, bring the soles of your feet together, come into butterfly pose. Once again, rock on those sit bones, have fun with it. Take your hands, grab your ankles, bring your ankles and heels gently towards your groin, knees apart. Hinge at the waist, spine is straight, crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Inhale, puff your chest out in front of you. And exhale, lower your knees gently towards the floor, they won't touch. Just gently press them towards the earth. Inhale, stretch tall, fill your chest up with nourishing, healing, compassionate kindness. And exhale, let all the tension, judgment, resentment go in the breath. One more deep inhale. And just freely breathe out with whatever may be stuck in there. You may not even know what it is, just let it go. Sometimes we don't need to understand it to let it go. We can just let it go. Release your hands from your ankles. Stretch your legs out wide, straight and wide. Rock once again on those sit bones, side to side. Move the flesh of the seat out of the way. Take your hands, tend them behind you. Press your fingers into the earth, elbows straight. Chest puffs out once again. Crown of the head reaches towards the sky. Toes are flexed towards your nose in line with your legs. Take a deep breath in and exhale, let it go. Press into your fingers, lift up, inch forward, a smidge. Once again, inhale, stretch, lengthen towards the sky. Crown of the head reaches upward. Chest fills and exhale, just let whatever it is go. Don't worry about what it is, just let it go. Release your hands from the earth, engage your belly, inhale your arms, reach them both up towards the sky. Exhale, tip towards the right, right hand reaches towards the right toes, ground the left hip into the earth, reach the left fingertips over towards the right toes also. Notice the stretch in the left waist and breathe into it. Deep nourishing breath. And exhale, let it go. Inhale, rise back up towards center. Exhale, drop your left hand towards your left toe, right hip grounds into the earth, right fingers reach over the right ears, inhale into the whole right side body. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath here. Inhale, reach up towards the sky, exhale, lower your hands to your thighs, draw your knees together, let thighs together, swing your feet around and come to hands and knees. Tabletop position. If you wish, fold your blanket underneath your knees for um, support if your knees are sensitive. Hands directly under your shoulders. Spread your fingers into equal pie shapes. Take a moment to connect into the earth. Arms engaged and strong, elbows straight, shoulders in the sockets. 
knees directly under your hips at hips width, tops of the feet ground into the earth. Engage your belly once again, purposeful, caring, kind movements. Inhale, stick your sit bones towards the sky, crown of the head reaches towards the sky, come into cow pose. You'll notice a lovely stretch in the front of your belly. Breathe into it. Exhale, round your spine, reach the, your navel towards the sky, drop your head and neck, stretch the whole back by body and enjoy it. Inhale for cow pose, sit bones stick up towards the sky, crown of the head reaches towards the sky, belly stretches. Exhale round, suck your navel up towards the sky, stretch every bit, nook and cranny of the back body. Exhale. Come into cow pose once again, crown of the head reaches skyward. A final cat pose. Press backwards and fold into child's pose. You can have knees apart, toes together, or knees together, whichever works better for you. Inch your fingers towards the front of the mat. Sit bones reach, sink towards the floor. If your knees are together, bring your hands by your sides. If your knees are apart, reach your hands long in front. Take a moment here just to go inward. Think here about one thing about yourself that you truly love. One thing that you would not change. And when you thought of it, tuck it into that pocket behind your heart to carry with you after class. I like to offer that pocket behind your heart. We carry it with us. It's often hollow, empty, sad, stuck. And when we find joy and delight, it's full and that is noticeable. So we can, with intention, put things there to help us get the things that we want, the joy, the delight more often, if we pay attention to it. And yet we spend most of our time ignoring it. So pay attention to it, heal it, send it love, compassion, notice what it needs. Gently come back to hands and knees, move slowly. Ground yourself into the earth once again. Hands ground into the earth, knees, tops of the feet. Inhale, reach your right arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread the needle between the left hand and the left knee. Outer edge of the right shoulder and the right ear touch the earth. Hips can sink back gently. You can take your right foot and place it atop the left ankle, whatever works for you here. I like to stretch the left arm long, fingers long, long, long towards the front of the mat, or you can tuck them, whatever feels comfortable. Breathe into the right shoulder and into the twist. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. Filling yourself up with kindness, appreciation for all you've done, the mountains you've climbed. And notice how that pocket behind the heart pops open here. What can you hear from it? And what could you put there that might help you enjoy your life more, move through life more easily? If your left arm is stretched in front, walk it back underneath your shoulder, press into your hand, straight the left arm, reach your right arm up towards the sky, and lower it back towards the earth. Even yourself out. Notice the transitions, pay attention to them. Inhale the left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, thread it through the right hand and right knee, lower the left ear, left shoulder towards the floor. Come in to thread the needle on the opposite side. You can tend to that right fingers or spread them, stretch them long in front, whatever works for you. Breathe into the whole left shoulder area into the twist and exhale, let it go. One more breath here, deep breath, long inhale. 
Fill it up and exhale, let things go. Sometimes we don't need to fix them or understand them. We can just breathe them out. Walk your hand back underneath your shoulder, elbow. Straighten the elbow, untangle, come back to hands and knees. Walk those hands at handprint in front of you. Curl your toes, shoot your hips up towards the sky, come into downward dog. Widen your feet if you need to. Ground both hands into the earth. Notice the pie shapes between your fingers. All 10 knuckles press into the earth. Both hands straight your arms. Engage your shoulders in the sockets. Press your hips up towards the sky. Lift up onto all 10 toes. Heels raised high, high, high. Once again, reach your hips up and back. Press into your hands. Reach towards the back of the mat and slowly lower the heels towards the earth and enjoy it. Bend the left knee, straight the right, press the right heel into the earth. Bend the right knee, straight the left, press the left heel into the earth. Lift up onto your tiptoes once again, both slowly lower your heels towards the earth. Walk your hands towards your feet, about two handprints, a much narrower downward dog. Press into your hands, arms straight once again. Hips reach towards the sky. Press your heels towards the earth. They won't touch. Just notice the sensations as you pause here. Move slowly. Let yourself catch up. Walk your hands inch by inch towards your feet. Come into a forward fold. You may want to widen your feet even more. Bend your knees gently. Come into an easy forward fold here. Take your hands, grasp your elbows, and just sway. You'll notice a lovely release in the whole back body. Shift your weight into your toes, into your heels towards the left and towards the right. Find your center, your balance, and take a moment. Notice how that feels to be grounded and centered. And you remember that and carry that with you as you move through the world this week. All 10 toes here. Notice the strength of your feet. Ground them into the earth and lower your toes. Release your hands towards the earth. Engage your belly with intention and roll up inch by inch by inch by inch. Head will be the last to rise. Notice all the shifts in blood flow and enjoy it. Shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Squeeze them high, high, high. Draw them back towards the back of the mat. Pinch your scapula together and lower your shoulders, drop them fully, palms open towards the front of the mat. Tadasana or mountain pose. Take a moment here to notice how it feels. Slow down here and let yourself catch up. Let your soul catch up, your heart catch up. Bring your left hand to your heart once again, right hand to top, and just pause. Notice how it feels. Connect with that heart space. What does it have to say? What is it telling you? Release your hands towards your sides. Allow them to open out and up towards the sky. Palms come to the slight arch back. Fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift. Spine straight, sit bones stick out towards the back. Exhale, forward fold. Walk your hands forward. Come back to downward dog. Take a moment to get organized. Hands grounded to the earth, sit bones reach towards the sky. 
Ground both balls of the feet into the earth, both hands into the earth. Inhale, raise your right leg towards the sky. Press the heel into the back wall, three-legged dog. Hips are square towards the floor. Gently on the exhale, bring the right foot between your hands. We're gonna come into Anjaneyasana or low lunge. Wiggle the right toes as far forward as is comfortable. Your right knee should not extend beyond your right ankle. Left knee is on the earth, top of the left foot is on the earth. If your knee is sensitive, use your blanket or fold the mat over in half to create a little more cushion. Engage your belly. When you're ready, inhale, reach both arms up towards the sky, low lunge. Inhale, lengthen towards the sky. Exhale, sink into the lunge. Inhale, reach tall towards the sky. Exhale, sink into it a little bit more. Breathe into that release in the front of the left hip. With kindness. Inhale deeply. Notice all that you carry there from all the mountains you've climbed. And can you just let it go? Anything you may be struggling with, holding you back, weighting you down. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, sink into it slightly. Bring your hands to your hips. Engage your belly. Press into your right foot. Shift your hips back. Straight the right leg. We're going to come into a half split. Even out to your hip bones. With your hands at your hips, there's a bit of balance involved. And just enjoy it. Tip. Toes flex towards your nose. Hinge at the waist, fold forward over the right leg, and you can lower your hands towards the earth if that works for you. You can leave them at your waist if the balance works for you there. Whatever feels right to work on. Tap that right hip back, left hip forward gently. Notice the change in stretch there. Point your right toes. Flex your right toes. Lower the right toes towards the earth. Bend your right knee. Come forward, back towards the low lunge. Curl the back toes. Come up into a high lunge. Square your hips. Even things out. Left hand, place the palm on the earth. Twist towards the right. Reach your right arm up towards the sky. Back leg is straight. Back heels off the earth. Easy twist, they call this, although it may not be so easy. Ground the left hand into the earth. If you wish, you can take your right hand, wrap it into the left hip crease, roll your shoulder and chest and heart open towards the sky. Look upward, if that serves you. Breathe into that pocket behind the heart here that rolls open as you reach towards the sky. Breathe into it. Exhale, let it go. Reach your right arm once again towards the sky. If it's not there, lower it towards the earth. Hands on either side of that right foot. Press into the right foot. Straight your right leg, straight your left leg. Left heel is going to be up in the air. A long triangle. You'll have a lovely stretch in the back of the right leg. Play with your hips here. Enjoy it. Tack the right hip back, left hip forward, left hip back, right hip forward. Notice how it feels and just enjoy it. Don't overdo it. You can lift up on the back toe if you need to. You can lower the back heel. Notice as you move what shifts and just enjoy it. One more breath here. And let things go. Press off the back foot, bring it all the way towards the front of the mat alongside the left foot or alongside the right. Come into a forward fold. Widen your feet if need be. Sink your hips back, down and low. Come into chair pose. Knees are bent, hands at heart center. Press your palms together. Press each finger pad together. Press your thumbs into your sternum, elbows out wide. Sink your hips down and low. Notice the energy in your thighs and just enjoy it. Lift up all 10 toes, monkey toes, lower them down. Lower your hands towards the floor, shoot your hips up towards the sky, allow your head and neck to release completely. Forward fold. 
Bring your hands to your sacrum, re-clasp them. Shoot your fist towards the sky, elbows straight. Allow your fist to fall over your head and neck towards the front of the mat. Release your head and neck towards the floor. Notice the front of your shoulders. Breathe into them with kindness. Just let whatever needs to go, go. Breathe in a bit of pride here, a bit of appreciation for all the mountains you've climbed, all that you carry with you in those shoulders every day. Many, many of us carry lots in the shoulder. Breathe into them. Exhale, let it go. Lower your hands to your sacrum. Allow them to run down the backs of your legs towards the floor. Engage your belly and slowly, once again, roll up vertebrae by vertebrae by vertebrae. Head will be the last to rise. Notice the shifts in blood flow. Go slow. When you arrive, shrug your shoulders up to your ears. Pinch them back towards the back of the mat. Pinch your scapula together. Lower your hands, palms open towards the front. Tadasana or mountain pose. Take a moment to ground into the earth. Draw its energy up through you. Lift your kneecaps, your thighs, tuck your pelvis. Grow your spine long and tall towards the sky. Reach the crown of your head skyward, stretch your neck. Drop your shoulders with intention. As you drop them, let some of the weight in the shoulders go. Breathe into your heart space. And exhale, let it go. One more deep breath here, just enjoy it. Exhale, let it go. Inhale your arms out and up towards the sky. Once again, palms together, slight arch back, fold forward, forward fold. Inhale for a half lift, sit on, stick out towards the back, step flying straight, crown of the head reaches forward. Notice the stretch in the back of the legs. Exhale, fold forward. Ground your palms into the earth. Step back to plank for a moment. Top of the push up and pause. Just enjoy it. Engage your belly, strong belly. It's a top of a push up, not a triangle. Tip forward onto your toes. Bend your knees, untuck your back toes, bend your elbows, hug them in towards you, lower down chaturanga towards the earth. Forehead touches the floor gently. Weight is out of the hands. Inhale, lift up for a low cobra. Heart shines forward, crown of the head reaches forward, tops of the feet press into the earth. Hip bones press downward. Exhale, lower down. Press into your hands and press back to downward dog through hands and knees if you're new. Curl your toes, reach your sit bones up towards the sky and pause a moment here. Just notice how you feel. Deep breath into your chest space and big, huge exhale, letting things go. What would happen if you slowed down and listened to yourself? What would you do? How would you move through the world? How would things maybe be different? Raise your left leg towards the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, gently bring it between your hands, come into Anjani Asana or low lunge on this side. Back knee is on the earth, untuck the back toes, wiggle the left toes towards the front of the mat, engage your belly, and slowly, when you're ready, rise up to reach towards the sky with your hands. Exhale, sink into your hips. Notice it may feel very different on this side. And that's okay. Inhale, reach tall towards the sky, lengthen your spine. Exhale, sink into your hips gently. Inhale, reach up once again towards the sky. Lengthen, lengthen, breathe into the front of that right hip, whatever you might be carrying there. And see if you can loosen it slightly. Let it go with the breath. Bring your hands to your hips, engage your belly for the balance. Press into the left foot, straight the left leg, come into a half splits. Move slowly for balance. 
Left leg is straight, toes reach back towards your nose. Hinge forward at the waist with a straight back. Lower your hands towards the earth if you wish, or you can stay upright, whatever works for you. Toes flex towards your shin. Tuck your left hip back, right hip forward. Right hip back, left hip forward. Point your toes towards the floor. Flex your toes towards your nose. One more breath into the back of that left leg. Breathe into it. And exhale, let it go. Walk your hands towards the front of the mat. Bend that left knee. Weight shifts forward into the full left foot. Curl the back toes under, rise up to a high lunge. Even yourself out if needed. Right palm flat to the earth, twist towards the left. Left hand reaches towards the sky. Come into a high lunge, easy twist. If you wish, left hand tucks into the right hip crease here. Breathe into those pockets behind the heart that open up in this position. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. Exhale, let it go. Reach your left fingertips up towards the sky. Lower your left hand to the outside of the left foot. Straight the left leg, straight the right leg. Come into a very long triangle. It's different than the usual triangle if you do yoga regularly. You'll notice some interesting stretches and just enjoy them. Lift up onto the tiptoe of your back foot, lower it down. Tack your left hip back, right hip forward, just a smidge, see what happens. Right hip back, left hip forward, notice what happens. And a deep inhale into the back of the left leg. And a full exhale, fold forward over that leg as it works for you and breathe into it. Exhale, let it go. Press off your back foot. Shift forward, come into a forward fold. Once again, sink your hips back down and low. Hands come together, come into chair pose. Engage your thighs, notice your strength. Lift up all 10 toes here and lower them down. Two more breaths here, notice any shaking. Lower your hands towards the floor, shoot your hips up, straight your knees, come into a forward fold. Engage your belly, slowly roll up inch by inch, vertebrae by vertebrae, head will be the last to rise. Shrug your shoulders up towards your ears, pinch them together towards the back, the scapula. Lower your shoulders, open your palms towards the front, Tadasana or Mountain Pose. Taking a deep inhale here, notice how you feel. Send the breath any nook and cranny that needs it. And exhale, let go of whatever still needs to go without judgment, maybe without understanding or maybe without fixing. What if you just moved through the world a little lighter and a little more easeful? Another deep inhale. And an exhale. Bring your left hand to your heart once again and right hand to top. Take a moment to listen. What does your heart want and need now? How can you honor it? in the week ahead. Slowly lower your hands to your side. <clears throat> Step your right foot back directly into, we're gonna come into warrior one. So left toes gently towards the front of the mat, right toes are slightly pigeon toed. Turn your hips to face the front of the mat, raise both arms up towards the sky, Exhale, bend the left knee, sink into warrior two. Your heels are in heel to heel alignment. Your back heel may be off the floor. 
depending on how flexible your calf is. Inhale deeply here, warrior one. Exhale, sink into that front knee, wiggle those left toes forward if you need. Exhale, sink a little lower. Inhale, reach tall. Exhale, open your arms out towards the sides, reclasp them at your sacrum. Extend your elbows, fists reach towards the floor, chest opens, breathe into that heart space behind the heart here. Reach the crown of your head tall, shoulders down and back. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath. Press those fists towards the floor. Fill up the whole chest space. Most of us don't open our hearts in this way. Open your heart and exhale, let things go. Reach your arms, release your hands. Reach your arms out and up once again towards the sky. On the exhale, curl your arms open, rotate towards the side. Move your heel a little bit towards the back of the mat. We're gonna come into warrior two. So right toes face more towards the side of the mat. Bend that front knee, gazes over the left middle finger. If you're new, take a look on the screen. Gaze over the left middle finger, arms spread equally wide in either direction. Warrior two, strong, firm. Inhale deeply, lengthen the spine, reach the crown of the head towards the sky. Exhale, sink into your hips a little bit more. One more breath here. Inhale deeply, extend your arms long and strong. And exhale, let it go. Straight that left knee, right hip shoots backwards. Reach the left fingertips as far forward as you can. Lower your left hand to your left shin. Reach your right arm up. Come into Trikonasana or Triangle Pose. Two breaths here. One more breath. Rise back upright. Hands come to your hips. Turn your left toes towards the side of the mat. Right toes towards the side of the mat. Turn your right toes to jet line towards the back of the mat or the right side of the mat. Left toes turn towards the front. Turn your hips to face the right side of the mat. Come up into warrior one. You likely need to wiggle your right toes a little bit towards the right, right foot towards the right side of the mat. Readjust your left foot, reach your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, sink into the hips, right knee bends. Make sure the right knee does not extend beyond the right ankle. Inhale, reach tall and long towards the sky. Exhale, bend that right knee, sink into warrior one. Your calf, left calf will be stretching, left heel reaches towards the floor. Inhale, reach tall and long. Exhale, sink into it. One more deep lengthening breath. Arms come out on the exhale. Reclasp at your sacrum. Fists extend towards the earth, elbows straight, chest puffs out, shoulders down and back. Neck is long, reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Breathe into it. Open your chest, fill it up with nourishing kindness. Breathe out all the unkind thoughts, actions that you do in the day, and you let them go. Inhale deeply. Exhale, let it go. One more breath here. Reach your, unclasp your hands, reach your arms back up towards the sky. Cartwheel them open towards the side. Bring your left heel back around towards the back of the mat. Come into warrior two. Sink your hips down a little further. You may wish to wiggle your right toes farther in front of you. Gazes over the right middle finger this time. Breathe into it. Exhale, sink into it. One more breath here, strong warrior. Exhale, sink into it. Straight the right knee. Left hips shoot towards the back of the mat. Right fingertips reach long, long, long and drop them like the little teapot towards your right knee, shin. Rest it below your knee if possible, towards the ankle, towards the floor, depending on your flexibility. Trikonasana or triangle pose. Roll the left shoulder back, left fingers reach towards the sky. If you wish, you can look up towards that left hand, whatever works for you. Breathe into it. Exhale, let it go. One more deep breath here. 
Rise back upright. Hands come to your hips, elbows behind. Turn your toes towards the side edges of the mat. Bring your heels together. Come into a second position for anyone who's a ballerina. Toes facing towards the outer edges of the mat. Bend your knees so they are aligned with your toes. Sink your hips downward. Come into goddess pose. Elbows extend towards the back of the mat. Chest is puffed out here. Inhale deeply. Reach the crown of your head towards the sky. Exhale. Sink into your hips. If you wish, take your hands into an easy cactus pose. Goddess pose. Breathe into it. Acknowledge your strength, all you've done. Take a moment to let a little pride sink in here. This pose actually helps you feel stronger, more confident, more proud. Let it sink into that pocket behind your heart. One more breath here, even as your legs may start to shake. Straight your knees, straight your arms, come into star pose. Let things go. Arms release out towards your side, down by your hips. Heel toe your feet together. Shake things out, roll your shoulders. Take a moment to adjust and slowly transition to lie on the floor. Extend yourself long here. Lie down completely. Legs are long, hands are at your sides. Palms open towards the sky. Toes reach towards the outer edges of the mat, outer corners. And just take a moment to arrive here. Notice how you feel in this moment. Notice your breath. Is it heavy? Is it easeful? Bring your left hand to your heart once again, right hand to top. Eyes closed if you're comfortable. And think for a moment about something that you are proud of. Something this week that you did, or this year, or in your lifetime that you're proud of. And remind yourself of that. Appreciate yourself for that. Breathe in deeply through your nose. Exhale, let it go, seal it in. Bring your hands to your sides. Palms flip to face towards the mat, forearms on the mat. Soles of the feet come towards the earth. Bend your knees, walk your heels towards your buttocks as close as they can. Inch your fingertips towards your heels. Press into your feet, press into your palms, press into your forearms, reach your sit bones up towards the sky. Come into a bridge pose. Shimmy your shoulders underneath you to open up your chest space. Hands can grab the outer edges of the mat and tug them forward towards your heels. Knees energetically connect, hips reach as high towards the sky as you can. Everything in the back body is engaged here. Breathe into that heart space and reach your hips skyward. Exhale, let go, but keep reaching those hips as high, high, high. The entire buttocks is engaged. Legs are engaged, thighs are engaged, toes are flat on the earth. Exhale, inhale, reach high once again. Exhale, slowly untuck your shoulders, release the mat, and lower yourself down inch by inch by inch by inch, very, very slowly until you arrive on the mat. And just notice how you feel. Pause here and take a listen. Slow down. Let your soul catch up here. Draw your knees into your chest. Take your hands to your shins. Give them a huge squeeze. Hug your forehead towards your knees as close as you can. Squeeze tight, 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 tight. Exhale, lower your head towards the earth. 
Bring your hands to the outer edges of your feet. Come into happy baby pose. Soles of the feet reach towards the sky. Knees press down towards the earth. Rock side to side on your sacrum. Massage your back. Enjoy it. Play with it. A few more rocks here. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees apart, press your heels in towards your groin. Inhale into that chest space, fill it up. Exhale, let it go, press your heels gently towards your groin a little more. Inhale once again, you can bring your hands to your ankles if your chest is in the way. If you're chesty, your chest will be in the way. Inhale deeply so you can fill up your heart space here. Exhale, let it go. Release your hands from your ankles. Slowly lower your feet towards the earth. Soles of the feet together, knees apart. Come into Supta Baddha Konasana or reclining butterfly. A very nourishing healing pose. For some of you, the inner thigh stretch will be intense. You can put blocks under your knees, pillows under your knees, or extend your feet. So you have more of a diamond shape between your legs rather than a triangle. Palms open towards the sky for a moment. Breathe into your chest space here. Slow down. Exhale, let it go. Hands come to the outer edges of your thighs. Draw your knees together. Walk your feet towards the outer edges of the mat. Knees together, feet apart. Raise your arms above your head in an easy cactus shape. Allow your knees to fall towards the right. Left knee reaches energetically towards the right front corner of the mat in an easy twist. Breathe into it. Gaze can turn to the left if you wish. Breathe into that spot just above your hip. Exhale, breathe out. Bring your gaze back to center. Knees back to center. Knees together, feet apart. Untuck your shoulders if they're kinked. On the exhale, let your knees fall gently towards the left. Twist in the opposite direction. Left knee reaches towards the front, right knee reaches towards the left front corner of the mat. Gently turn your gaze towards the right. Breathe into all the stretch in the right side body and enjoy it. Gently bring your gaze back to center. Your knees back to center. Readjust your hips. Lower your hands by your sides. Untuck your shoulders and your hips if they're kinked. Straight your legs long in front of you. Toes will fall towards the outer edge of the mat, palms open towards the sky. Come into Shavasana, our final resting pose. A few moments to integrate, to surrender, to let whatever needs to happen within your body and your mind and your soul, just to be slowing down to let everything catch up. Let go of the conscious control of the breath. 
and allow yourself to just be here for a few moments, totally at peace. Gently begin to deepen your breath. Slowly start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Take an inhale and stretch in whatever way feels right to you. Gently draw your knees into your chest and slowly roll over to one side and pause for a moment. You can use your arm as a pillow in an easy fetal position. Take a moment to thank yourself for taking the time today for you. Appreciate and honor yourself and your body and your mind and your spirit for all the mountains you've climbed. And take a moment to notice where you might want to go from here. How can you listen to your heart now? What does it want? And how can you allow a tiny bit more of that into your life this week? Press into your hands and slowly come up to a comfortable seat. Where we began, you can sit up atop a blanket, a bolster, a block, or nothing. Allow your hips to sink right back into the earth. Tilt your pelvis, grow your spine long and tall towards the sky and allow your hands to rest gently on your thighs. Take in a deep inhale and reach the crown of your head towards the sky. And exhale, drop your shoulders. Bring your hands to heart center, palms together, each finger pad touches, thumbs press into your sternum. Thank you all so much for joining me today for this practice. May you all be well. May you all be safe. May you all be loved. May you all appreciate yourselves and may you all listen to your heart in the weeks and months ahead. Have a beautiful weekend. Namaste.